Happy holidays! <laughs> Oh, is there anything better at Christmas than a fallen angel? <laughs> We are talking Letters to Satan. This one is directed by Emma Jean Sutherland and is kind of a comedy horror spoof that is taking pot shots at the typical Christmas romantic kind of movies that you'll get every year. Generally kind of found on the Hallmark Channel, stuff like that. Uh, and you can also say it's me the, the kind of the movie plays a little bit like Scrooged meets Krampus. Now, this is a made-for-TV movie um, that is pretty low budget, to be honest with you, but is surprisingly fun. Now, the story here focuses initially on this young girl who is a little bit bratty when, when it comes to Christmas, and uh, she writes a letter to Santa Claus wishing her parents weren't there. Now, because she's relatively young, she misspells Santa Claus and puts Satan Claus. Uh, which, of course, summons Satan, who murders her parents, and they open presents to find, uh, you know, decapitated heads in their presents, things like that. Cut to 20 or so years later, she's now an adult, she works for a kind of a TV news channel, and she's sent back to her hometown to kind of cover the Christmas spirit, uh, meeting kind of like her estranged sister, ex-flames, things like that. But Satan is up at it again, wanting to, uh, of course, have a, a part upon this town. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So, first of all, let's talk about what works in this movie. This is obviously a horror comedy, and the emphasis is on comedy rather than, than horror. Now, comedy is a subjective uh, subject, and it is, it is, because of that, one of the most difficult... Uh, genres to make because you might appear to you know you might appeal to some people but not others but I have to say I think that the wit of this movie is quite sharp and it, it really takes some of the kind of the, the typical sort of festive tropes uh, and kind of romantic comedy tropes and kind of like just absolutely rips into them like for example uh, you know this uh, Holly who is now a, a grown woman Every kind of like male character she meets is kind of super attractive and kind of comes in and kind of slow mo and soft to music. And of course, it's that trope where you know she's kind of meeting these various kind of like different love interests and things like that and all these kind of contrived ways, things like this. So it kind of it is really just taking the piss of a lot of this kind of established kind of rom com style uh, movies. And I've got to say, um, I've mentioned the movie Scrooge, which I feel, obviously, that was based on uh, Christmas Carol, but Karen Knox, who plays uh, Holly, is pretty much channeling Bill, prime Bill Murray here, the kind of the grumpy, sardonic kind of character that he's, you know, we all know and love, and obviously he plays a very similar character this in Scrooge, you know, and she's kind of like... Um, you know, a hard drinking, she kind of, you know, just wants to kind of sleep around, things like this, just doesn't have the Christmas spirit. And I think she does a great job of making a character who has all these kind of like flaws, but is ultimately still a likable character. And she has great comedic timing as well, really delivering some of these kind of like these comic moments in what I think is, is, is uh, you know, a great comedic performance. And everyone kind of else in the cast is all kind of like happy and cheery and over the top. I mean, the movie isn't trying to be, you know, a realistic kind of comedy horror, so to speak. Everyone is kind of uh, in super kind of like hyper cartoon mode, apart from maybe Holly, who's the kind of the one who's the kind of the Debbie Downer, so to speak. Um, but nonetheless, I, I think their kind of the over the top performances is suited with this kind of material makes it for for quite fun uh, the movie as well although it isn't particularly gory that it, it kind of does have some kind of you know decent horror elements i suppose where people's presence are included severed body parts and things like that is not i mean the, the kind of we'll come on to the kind of the budget again in, in a bit but the the idea at least is is pretty horrific even though it's not a particularly explicit movie in regards to kind of like gore or effects things like that I think the movie's plot, again, it kind of mirrors those typical uh, rom-coms and kind of like 
uh, kind of Christmas movies that you would have seen, but adding these kind of like these uh, horror twists to it and kind of like uh, uh, somewhat, somewhat of a satire as well. But it goes, you know, the, the plot is still kind of quite fun to enjoy. The characters are all kind of quite likeable. So overall, i got to say, I kind of enjoyed this movie quite a bit. What well, doesn't work? I have kind of mentioned the budget, and I do think because this is kind of made for a, you know, a network TV uh, holiday movie, it suffers a little bit because of some of the kind of just the lack of budget here. Um, in particular, I would say the Satan character himself, uh, or even herself, I'm not quite sure where they were going with that, but, um, you know, it, it. I think more could have been done with that character because it, it doesn't really seem uh, particularly menacing, and I think sometimes the kind of like the... Uh, the makeup effects don't look particularly good. Now, again, in context of the film, I think you're not supposed to be expecting, you know, um, a grotesque, kind of realistic looking kind of Satan. It's meant to be a kind of a horror comedy. And I do appreciate that. But I think um, more could have been done with the kind of the, 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 kind of the Satan character to make it look a little bit more um, aggressive, maybe, uh, or, or kind of like... Um, scary you know, but it, it kind of just seems like someone in a rubber suit and you even at times kind of see like the kind of like the uh you know around the eye holes and things like that again i kind of understand the whole point of this movie is to have kind of like a cheesy element to it um but i think it, it, it a little bit could have been done more to have uh this kind of this satan character be more of it like a bit more it's, it's, it's kind of like painted to be somewhat of a trickster but it could have been a bit more threatening perhaps and i think part of that is down to the kind of the budget um, and the kind of the way, for example, it's filmed and things like that, when we do have those sequences, it just is, the budget just can't keep up with it as well. I do think there are a couple of times where um, the, the movie just stutters a little bit in, in its kind of plot and you kind of feel like um, you, you kind of want the plot to progress just a little bit here and there. But to be honest with you, I think the main... The, in the main, it's just a pretty fun movie. Um, I, I loved our, our kind of central character and, um, you know, I actually hope to see kind of more from this actress and maybe even this kind of character. And uh, it's a fun kind of Christmas movie hampered only by really kind of budgetary constraints and, you know, some of the kind of like just su su more superficial elements, I think, that could have maybe elevated this movie in the kind of the, the less of the B-movie and more of the kind of the mainstream style movies it's taken the piss out of. But nonetheless, um, it's still an enjoyable movie. I had a blast with it. It's certainly one of the kind of the better Christmas kind of themed horror films I've seen in a long time. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.